we're gonna wait for this person. Cool. So the cop comes flying through. We move over slightly for them. So this is where I need the car to be a little more assertive. <laughs> He's laughing. He's like, what are you thinking? Oh yeah, too close. I hit the brake there. This video is brought to you by Joa, my choice for premium Tesla and vehicle accessories. Claim your exclusive discount with the link in the description below. Tesla has released its biggest and best update yet for full self-driving beta with version 12. In my over 100 miles using version 12.3.1 on a hardware 4 Model Y, I've noticed massive improvements in pretty much all of my common complaints. Lane selection, speed, acceleration, and braking have all been near perfect in my experience so far. In fact, I have not had a single phantom braking incident, which is something that used to happen all the time. All braking is smooth and appropriate. The small amount of construction I've encountered has also been perfectly handled, which is one of the older version's biggest weaknesses. But even when this latest version of full self-driving is hesitating, it feels like it's continually making progress with whatever situation it's working its way through. Now I want to be clear that one thing you'll hear from me in this video is a description of how I drive compared to FSD and how I would handle situations or how it would be handled in the local area. This is not me saying that the car is wrong or bad, it is simply for a frame of reference for you watching the video because it will never be the same as sitting in the car. If I was to imagine this as an Uber or a robo taxi, I wouldn't care about it going slightly slower than me or accelerating differently than me, but hopefully it just gives you a feel for the local driving compared to this robot which is making its way through Ann Arbor, Michigan. Now, of course, not everything is perfect. I've had a few interventions in every drive I've done so far, several of those you'll see in this video. But this is just the beginning of a totally new approach to Tesla's full self-driving code, and I'm excited to see how this software will evolve over the coming weeks and months. And while I know y'all want this update, I also know you want your personal information deleted from the internet, and that's why I'm proud of the sponsor of this this portion of the video, Delete Me. Delete Me can help you regain your online privacy. It's unsettling to realize how much of our information is constantly tracked online and Delete Me is the solution. I personally use and trust Delete Me and they have reviewed thousands of listings online that could potentially be holding my personal information such as my full name, my phone number, my address, and even information about my family. So far, Delete Me has removed my information from over 100 different websites. This would have taken me hours of frustrating work. Worse than that, these data brokers collect and sell this information, leaving you vulnerable to phishing, identity theft, and other scams. The solution to these issues is Delete Me, which has successfully removed my personal information like my phone number, my address, previous addresses, my work information from multiple websites. Use my link below to save 20% on Delete Me and protect your data and the data of your loved ones today. Thank you to Delete Me for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy this video of what is hopefully the worst that full self-driving is ever going to be again going forward. I'm optimistic that things are only going to get exponentially better from here. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. My name is Chris and we're on the latest version 12.3.1. I finally have version 12. I'm finally able to take it into parts that we've done before in previous versions over the years and really put it to the test in these difficult scenarios. So this video I'm still kind of getting a hang of First of all, version 12, it's different quirks and everything, and how we want to do these tests. So I'm going to do my best. I put in a bunch of uh, destinations here to make it difficult for the vehicle. I'm going to do my best in this one to let the car do everything, but I may play around with it a little bit here and there just to kind of play with some stuff. Just want to put that out there. So seeing to the left here is a little difficult, and you can tell the car is a little unsure of itself. Um, it's the angle of this street is difficult, but it's doing a good job waiting. And immediately up here, but we're, how can it even see? Like, it, there's so many trees and things in the way, but obviously it, it can see well enough to do what it's doing. If I put that there, wow. Uh, so immediately up here is something that <laughs> the car has been screwing up, I think well over a year, if we can ever go straight here. It's that construction up there, but it looks like the routing is slightly different than it has been in the past. I don't know. Like I said, this is going to be a little like kind of playing around, hit or miss, getting everything set up for version 12 and um, the harder, I mean, this will be a hard test, but full like A to B, me doing nothing tests will come in the future. I'm going to do my best, but we'll see. 
So going up to this first one, basically this is a two lane road, but this right lane has been closed for like over a year. And you can kind of drive in it partially, but then you need to move back over and the car just has gotten stuck here every single time. Now it's been able to physically move through here because I'll just use the accelerator pedal, but I wanna see if it's gonna figure out don't go this way, <laughs> move to the left, because version 12 is supposed to be a lot smarter and better, etc. So, so far it's not figuring that out and we have a minivan in front of us that's trapped as well. So here we go. Well, you're at your desk. See, okay, that's part of the problem is it put my nav over here and the nav used to be somewhere else, but there we go. I took that destination out. The car almost was kind of parking itself there, which is something a version 12 can do. And now we're gonna continue. So this is pretty much where it would get stuck every time, right here. These barrels, it would just sit here and wait and it wouldn't do anything. So I'm really hoping version 12 is smart enough to get through here. So there's somebody kind of in our blind spot, but look at this, version 12 confidently and slowly moves through there. Fixed the first example of some, well, not the first example, but a great example of something that absolutely did not work in previous versions. That's now working in version 12 and that was perfectly handled. So a few other things, the auto set speed is kind of weird. Again, still kind of playing with it, still kind of learning with it. But basically, if you go in the autopilot settings and turn this off, like I said, we're gonna be playing around. You'll see the max is actually higher. The max is 37. So that's the absolute fastest the car has kind of told itself it will go, but we're gonna keep this on for now. That doesn't mean it's gonna go 37. It means the fastest it's kind of allowing itself to go is 37. And it will choose a speed somewhere below that that it thinks is appropriate for the conditions. I don't have a whole ton of version 12 experience so far. Nice job moving away from this bus. But what I have so far gathered, even though 12.3.1, which is what we're on, is supposed to help a little bit with it, with the car going below the speed limit, it still likes to go a little slow sometimes. I was just on a road on the way here, the speed limit was 30 and the car was going like 38, which I wouldn't normally do, but all the traffic around me was doing that. And so the car was kind of following everybody. Now it did a good job getting back over here because it seemed like it was trying to get around that bus that was taking up a lot of lane, but it moved back in time to make this correct left turn maneuver. And that's another problem with past versions it was, is the vehicle would always choose to like change lanes to the right when we had a left turn coming up or vice versa. And that's something so far I've noticed with version 12 that seems to be a lot better, but we'll see as we continue in this drive. So hopefully this should all be very busy very compact, lots of tough scenarios. That's what we're going for here. This is like the torture test uh, going through here. And then future videos will be, you know, A to B drives that are more normal. Uh, most people are not taking their vehicle unless you're <laughs> testing FSD beta. Very nice job here. And uh, putting in a bunch of routes all over the city to find tough stuff. You're normally just going to the store or driving through downtown to get somewhere. So we'll have all kinds of variable testing in these videos. Um, of making it really difficult like we're doing today, but also just a normal, like I need to get to the store, can the car do that? Spoiler alert, Beta was not able to drive me to work this morning without help. <laughs> uh, part of that is, is due to the fact that on highway, you're still pretty much on version 11. We don't have any, I don't know what this right turn signal is about. I guess it wants to get over there, but there's some people in our way. Expand that a little bit for you. This is fine, I don't, we don't really need to do this, but I guess um, our destination is on the right in half a mile, so that could be a good decision. And now let's see if it moves around this bus because they are gonna drop some people off. There's a lot of traffic here. Another thing that we have in downtown, I haven't really been down here very much the past couple months because I didn't have an updated version of FSD. Nobody wanted to see version 11 when version 12 was around, which is fine. So I just wasn't really coming down here. There's a lot of construction down here I'm not familiar with and so the car doesn't seem to really be familiar with uh, these hazard lights right here. And construction was definitely one of the biggest weaknesses of uh, FSD beta version 11 and previous versions. So I've heard from others that version 12 does much better in construction, but we will see about that today because we should encounter quite a lot. A Little bit of wiggling here on the wheel, no biggie. And this is, we have a pedestrian crossing here. Uh, I'm gonna, say sorry about that she has to go behind us so the car should have i'm actually going to report that the car should have stopped before those flashing lights oh and look at this it thinks the person is still there all right i'm going to push the accelerator wow that was crazy that was crazy let's report that it basically wasn't moving because it was showing the pedestrian animation still in front of the car like it thought they were there that's definitely better safe than sorry but uh we were we were stuck there holding up traffic 
my bad. I should not have hit the accelerator because we couldn't go anywhere anyway. But <laughs> sorry, as I said, future videos uh, will allow the car to uh, do a lot more. But all right, let's fast forward through this slow stuff and uh, get to some future maneuvers here. Takeoffs feel really good uh, in pretty much all scenarios coming from a stop sign, a red light, uh, that car you know, slowed dramatically in front of us to make a turn. As soon as it's clear, uh, FSD Beta version 12 really takes off to kind of get out of the situation it's in, which is just great. Yeah, too close. I hit the brake there uh, because <laughs> we got a little too close. Actually, it was crazy because normally in that situation, uh, let me turn this back on here, um, you're basically just stuck. But this pickup truck stopped behind us like they stopped almost in the intersection back there uh, to allow us to change lanes, uh, change lanes, which normally people wouldn't do. They would just keep going. And if you can get over, you do. If not, you don't. Uh, and Beta basically picked up on that and started to move. They also started to move. It was just this kind of back and forth thing and just Beta got a little too close to that car in front of me for my comfort. You'll be able to see a decently hard stop there with the roof cam if we really were too close to that Ford Focus or not. Uh, but for me, it was, it was too close. So flying here, this is something I've noticed when, uh, like I said, when Beta comes out of a, a stop sign or something, it seems to really take off and it takes off to the point where it will go well above the speed limit, which, you know, I have it set so that it can kind of make those decisions. And then it'll very gradually slow back down to a more appropriate speed. It doesn't happen every time, but it, it's pretty often. So let's see if we see it again here. Expand that for you as much as I can. So we'll make our stop. We need to wait for that person. <laughs> so that was wrong. It was not our right of way. Um, they had already stopped at their stop sign and we were at a stop sign, so we were supposed to wait for them. Yeah, so it takes off out of these stop signs pretty good. So let's see it with this one. Hopefully I don't have to intervene on this one. So we already have a disengagement there. Zero and a takeoff. Oh, that takeoff feels very good natural obviously we didn't go flying past the speed, the speed limit or anything sorry i gotta keep this map up to make sure i'm doing everything correctly here so we'll stop we have a pedestrian obviously to wait for the pedestrian's not blue but the vehicle is and creeping forward i mean we're clear to go so showing some caution for uh, these people which is great all right, nicely handled, pretty polite. Now here's some tight roads, and this is something uh, FSD has done for a while where it kind of moves over into the pockets here if it needs to. Not exactly necessary here. We have barely enough room, and wow, the confidence. Holy moly. It's a little tight. It's not bad. But man, Beta is just unfazed by that. That is great. And then another pothole, which there's not a whole lot of decision on how to avoid that, but could have been done. Nice stop and a little hesitation here. Not complaining, just noting. No big deal. You can just tell when the movements are not exactly human-like, but a lot more of what you feel with uh, FSD version 12 is definitely more human-like. So this right turn here has never really been a problem for beta. I just need to switch the route as soon as it's completed. And you can, I mean, you can definitely get out in front of that person if you take off. Oh, and then they use their turn signal. They used it so late, and now Beta is picking up on that. I don't know if it's seeing the turn signal or seeing the fact that they're going so slow. Uh, but the turn was, was great in terms of uh, interacting with them. It didn't wait until they were completely turned. It definitely could sense their speed uh, was slow enough for us to to proceed there. Now, here's where my route really gets messed up because we used to go straight here, and there was some tough stuff over there. But the road's closed, and you can see that we're turning right well before that. Now, my guess is that is more map data. The FSD can use map data to uh, make a route around closed roads. I've seen that for a very long time. But whatever, it doesn't really matter. As long as it drives me correctly A to B, I don't care how it does it. 
But that's what I'm guessing we're seeing there. So we'll stop at this stop sign, there's no line. Go to zero and just go, man. Don't wait for them. They're going so slow. Okay, there you go. Not bad, not bad. So the car decided to wait for that pedestrian, which is fine. That's perfectly fine. I'm surprised that it waited, but it's not a bad decision. Now it's looking at this guy too. And there's cars coming. Uh, they don't, I don't think cross traffic stops. Nope, so we'll keep waiting here. Wow, interesting. So that pedestrian, oh my gosh, that was crazy. That pedestrian waved to the car from our left because that car was waiting for them. And Beta, I don't know if it picked up on the wave or it just saw that person to our left stopping or what, but it made the absolutely correct decision to take advantage of that situation and move through that intersection where the pedestrian was basically blocking it so we had right away. Very cool. So left turn here, perfectly clear. I would have uh, already made this turn. We're in the road. <laughs> okay. Not the, the worst decision in the world. And we're going to wait for this person. Cool. Very nice. So the cop comes flying through. We move over slightly for them, which is good. He did not even look at us. And we got a lot of pedestrians to wait for. And this right turn, even though it's just a right turn and not a left, is actually a little difficult just because there's a lot of pedestrians on this road. There's a lot of vehicles that don't have a stop sign. So I'm hoping we go before this uh, truck across from us. I don't know what we're waiting for here. Do it. Oh, it's so slow. Just go, man. I can, I can just see the guy staring at me like, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Maybe I'm making it up, but yeah, I mean, there was nothing really to wait for there. So we'll make this left. We have a good amount of pedestrians to wait for. Now this is where it's gonna pick up and get a little busier. Yep, so this is where I need the car to be a little more assertive. Now, I'm always complaining that it's either too assertive or not assertive enough. Yeah, there you go, nice, okay. It really picked up on that pedestrian's uh, intentions there of waiting for us. When there's that many pedestrians, you have to just start nosing. You ju just gotta start going, because if you wait too far away, they're never, ever, ever gonna stop for you. So, great job. I mean, that was that was absolutely perfect. Now, this will be a little confusing because this cop is just chilling at the stop sign there. Never mind, he did move through. We have our right turn signal on. We're waiting for these pedestrians. He's looking at my camera. <laughs> There's security. Hopefully nothing's going on. It looks like these guys are on a mission or something. Nice, I uh, can't complain, perfect. So those pedestrians coming quick, but just, all right. I, he's laughing, he's like, what are you thinking? Um, yeah, the car definitely should have just proceeded through there. Not stop in an intersection. A lot of these, I think people are gonna kind of disagree with me. We're getting to the point where the car's mistakes, or I, I shouldn't even call it a mistake. The things the car's doing, it's not like they're in, insanely wrong and about to you know run over a dog or crash into a car or something. Um, it's a lot of opinion, I feel like. Personally, I would, it was very clear for me to just go through that intersection, get out of that person's way. He could have crossed the street perfectly safe. He wouldn't have been in the street by the time I crossed. But some people would definitely wait. It was obvious he was going to cross the street there. And some people would have done exactly what the car did. My uh, turn signal's on, so they can go. Bit of a wide turn, but no big deal. Some people have been complaining that it's getting too close to curbs. It's taking the turns too tight, so maybe they've, they've adjusted that a little bit. All right, getting a little scared here. This bus is taking up a lot of our room. He's really riding the white line there. Uh, we obviously have room, but it's tight with the parked vehicles next to us. Man, Beta is assertive. Woo, all right. <laughs> Great, that was excellent. That was excellent. All right, this left turn. 
for years was really bad. The car would turn left and almost drive on the wrong side of the road. Recent updates, it's gotten much better, but not perfect. And a really nice green light for me to continue talking. So let's see if you will correctly make the, it already has the yellow line, so I think we're gonna be all good. Yeah, this has been good for a while. Nice, a little slow, but hey, it did it and it moved over here. I think that's technically was performed illegally. I would have done the same thing, uh, no big deal. So very nice on a left turn that used to always be a problem for beta is uh, no longer a problem. All right, we have a family to wait for here, which the car is preempting very nicely. It shows one pedestrian on the display or three. <laughs> it's kind of switching around, waits till they're out of the way and makes a nice smooth turn. Perfect. All right, this one, I'm gonna let it get in the parking lot and see if, what it's gonna do in this parking lot. Uh, normally I would adjust the route right now, but let's just see uh, what happens here. I don't know if there'll be any parking spots. I have no clue, I just am curious. So you're about to hit the curb. Yeah, there you go. Tire went right over the curb there. And I'm just gonna leave it. It says, wow, it is going into this parking spot. That is ridiculous. That's the first time I've seen that. So it's not the best park job, but it uh, kind of pulled up to the door for us. If this was a robo taxi, you'd just hop out and it would continue on its way. So let me just turn around here. Uh, Beta does not have the ability to back up, but that is supposed to be coming, you know, one day. All right, I got us adjusted here, facing the road with uh, the continuation of our route. I'll we'll let the car take over. Should be no problem getting out of this parking lot. Okay, maybe it should be a little problem. <laughs> There's nobody over there. It definitely feels like it's looking a lot more than uh, older beta versions. Like it's really trying to get a good picture, a good image of what's going on. Now this road marking is a little weird, I think through the comments, I've determined we are good to get in this right lane, but the car is a little confused by it still. It looks weird to me, and we have a no turn on red, and the car is obeying that. Nicely moving into this left turn. Perfect, nothing to complain about here. So this is a really busy, actually I need to, oops, that's not what I want get rid of this and I may have to intervene here to make it go where I want. Yeah, it's gonna, yeah, I don't wanna turn here. All right, let me get us up to the intersection I wanna deal with here. All right, this is what I want. So I'll let the car take over here. I want us to go up here, this intersection. I did the V12 drive with Bradford before, 12.2 uh, I think, and it was screwing up big time up here. We made our stop, it's definitely our right of way. little caution and then waiting for these people. So kind of sucks we stopped in the intersection, but actually it's not the worst decision in my opinion. We, we were going through our stop and then they decided to walk in front of us. So uh, not bad, not bad at all. So now we need to turn right up here. Is this a no turn on red? Yeah, it is. And this truck is kind of in our way as well. So I think the car will have no problem obeying this sign. It's just sometimes there's a lot of pedestrians here, which it looks like today there's not, unfortunately. We got the green, it's our right of way, nothing to wait for. Nice and cautiously moves through there. It's a tight intersection, it's busy. In that case, I'm fine with it being a little slow. Handled perfectly. It wasn't you know, the hardest that intersection has ever been, but, but it handled it. And then here, we don't get a green arrow. So this is one where I've complained about before, the car, it, basically you get the green light, and if you get in the intersection and it turns yellow, you can finish your maneuver, even if it turns red, if you can finish the maneuver, but the car never seemed to be able to do that and it needs to. So we'll see if we get a gap here, we may or may not. And if we don't, it'll need to move through on yellow. So this pedestrian does not have uh, right away here, but he's staring and Beta's staring at him, I can tell. Now it's clear, go. Oh yeah, beautiful. Awesome, very nice. I would have moved some, a little more into the intersection for that, but I'm not, no complaint. <laughs> Just for frame of reference, uh, that's, that's how I would have handled it, but the car did great. No complaints at all. This intersection as well, I don't know why. It's just very hard for Beta to get through. Even when it's not that busy, the car just really has always been timid on this one. And it seems we're not doing that today, so that's great. Now up here is confusing. You can see the people crossing the street. 
I'm like 99% sure that's a crosswalk that the paint is gone. <laughs> so is Beta gonna, you know, realize that? If not, I don't really, I mean, okay, so it has the pedestrian crosswalk sign. So it is a pedestrian crossing, but this used to have white paint and it's not there. They really should replace it. Okay, nice. I mean, we're going slow, which is fine. There's people walking in front of us. I'm good with all of this. Keep it up, I'm not looking in case, I mean, I could be driving 30 miles an hour. She may not have noticed, but we're not. She's perfectly safe. We're all good. I actually love the caution through this area. You can tell the road is awful. There's people walking all over the place in front of us, next to us. And it really feels like the car is just kind of taking it all in and kind of like, yep, we're going to make it through here very safely. So final pedestrian here, one in front of us. But yeah, definitely move up towards her a bit. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So this guy, you can tell he's looking. We're going to wait for him. It's thinking about it. Nah, it didn't do it. <laughs> it. Like, as soon as he looked, the car is like, oh, am I going to stop for you? Nah, I'm not. I'm going to keep going. It's just crazy to feel that. So another crosswalk. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should there be white lines painted here? I mean, obviously, they have the signs, but I feel like the white lines should definitely be painted here. Yeah, go. Go, go. Come on, make a decision. <laughs> yeah, it decided to stop, but it was kind of like really not sure what it wanted to do there. That's fine. I'm always good with the side of stopping for the pedestrians, uh, definitely. But, And then this bus lane, it used to always oh, do exactly what it's doing. All right, but it, it uh, 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 what are you doing? Come on, report. All right, it did figure it out. But yeah, it always used to dive, I mean, really bad, like dive all the way in there. Uh, but it's not doing that, so that's good. And this is it. This is pretty much the end. Uh, I think we'll wrap it up there. Unfortunately, I used to where I used to have it go through is here. I might have to rework this route because I want it to go through, uh, you can't see my finger, but basically uh, by Joe's Pizza uh, because that is a big mess over there and the car would always screw it up. But uh, we had uh, two disengagements, I believe, maybe uh, one accelerator pedal press that I didn't need to do, but I did. So, I mean, overall for a total rewrite, blah, 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 in my opinion, I feel like it's pretty good. And the nice thing about it is all the movements feel very natural. But lots more testing to come. Please leave me comments down below what you would like to see in future videos. And you will see me in the next one. I'll let it finish this left turn. Oh, come on. Don't be scared. They have a stop sign. Ah, now it's waiting for this pedestrian. There you go. Just go. Come on. All right. Later.